Hi, welcome back. Part four, dialogue edit tutorial, Adam for Venn Audio, logos. In the first three parts, imported OMF, cleaned up, faded. Now we're going to give it a rough mix. As I said in part one, all the location recordings are going through the dialogue bus, which has a compressor. So I just go through and get all the normal level speech, just hitting the compressor threshold. Shouts and whispers are going to vary. I've also got a master track here, which I can use to see the final levels. I'll just bring the music back and we can have a quick listen. Sorry about the frame rate, by the way. Yes, yes. All right, lad. What's going on? Nothing, man. You all right? Did they charge you? <laughs> No, no. Still kept me overnight. Okay, mostly everything's maybe a tiny bit quiet. Uh, we can check our dialogue level on this track here. Yes, yes. So just go through raising the levels where needed. Yes, yes. All right, lad. All right, lad. Yeah, I think the music is just generally too loud, so we can take that whole track down by 10. That's why we've removed the volume automation in part one. Yes, yes. All right, lad. What's A bit too soft. Yes, yes. All right, lad. What's going on? Nothing, man. You all right? Did they charge you? <laughs> Nah, man. Still kept me overnight. Though. Okay, this line, nah, man, it's just a bit quiet. It's just going to use the uh, clip gain to bring that up. Did they charge you? <laughs> nah, man. Still kept me overnight. Though. Smooth it out a bit. Charge you? <laughs> nah, man. Still kept me overnight. Though. Get out, mate. That was close. What are you telling me? Anyway, you got my stuff. So we're just going through in real time, pretty much checking everything and adjusting all the levels to be even. Obviously, once we get all the sound effects, etc. in, we're going to mix everything together. This is just like a first pass. And that's it. If you've got more plugins, you'd probably put them on your dialogue orcs. I'd probably also listen through to the whole thing again. But for now, that's it for dialogue. Bonus section up next is spotting sound effects, but if you're not interested in that, thanks for watching. I hope some of it was useful. So, you'll remember we had those spot tracks in part one. This is to make a note of what other sounds you need. I've got three categories. ADR, Foley, and Effects. We're not going to use the ADR, so lose that. Here's an example. Watch your scene, and here we go, aha, maybe we want to hear some distant footsteps from them. So use grid mode. Make sure your grid is set to one frame. And we say we want those footsteps going on from the top of the scene to here. Consolidate that. And we have an empty clip, Spot Foley 1. Rename that to Spot Feet 2 Ladies. And we have a nice marker of where we want our first bit of foley. Let's do another one. Spot feet two ladies two. What that means is that when you come to record your foley, you've got a region that marks where the foley starts and how long it should last. And you don't miss any cues that you had planned. You can also do the same with non-foley effects so you don't forget anything. From there, you can export session info as text. Just the track EDLs is fine and you don't actually need crossfades. Export that, and we get our whole session as text. If you scroll down, you can see the two regions we just put in, including start time and duration. With that information for all your spots, you can use a nice little program called Agent Orange. Agent Orange takes that session info and interprets all the tracks. Then it can make a PDF version of some or all of your Pro Tools session. In this case, we just want to use the spot tracks. Select those, and hit create PDF. Here it is. 
Our spot tracks in a nicely laid out list, showing all the sound effects, when they come, and how long they should be. Blank regions and temp tracks are included. You can give this to a Foley artist and they will know that they need 13 seconds of footsteps here, 7 seconds here, and they might need to replace a phone sound effect here. I use this all the time to keep notes on my sessions, and it's nice to have a good list when you've got a lot of Foley to do in a short amount of time, and it's important that you don't miss anything out. That's it! If you made it through the whole thing, well done! Keep an eye on the venaudio.com website for more tutorials, tips and sound effects. Any questions, comments, alternate ways of doing stuff, you can put it all in the comments. Thanks for watching!